Hi folks, Steve Capozzi back out here at my Market Garden project. This is going to be my last video for the time being in this series, the Market Garden series. What I'll do from now on is come back and give updates and if I do anything new and interesting I'll do a video on that. But this is just going to be a quick update to show you where I got. Now bear in mind I started this, the first video was taken on December the 24th, Christmas Eve. That's when the truckloads of dirt was brought in. Today is January the 10th. So what, a bit over two weeks, not, not even three weeks, and we'll see um, the results so far. I'm just going to run you through the garden and we'll have a quick look. So you can see the first compartment was Chinese radish. And originally I had four that came up. And that's when I made the video about whether it was too hot or sunny for seeds. You either have to water a lot or provide shade. Because I actually got pretty poor germination the first time round. And you can see the four. They're the largest one, two, three, four, right there. This one's been eaten, I think, by... There's no um, caterpillars, but I think there's grasshoppers around here. What I did was I replanted a second time, made sure I watered more times throughout the day. At first, I was watering only two or three times. It's a very hot area here, very exposed to the sun. I made sure I came back four, five, six times a day, and there it is. Beautiful germination, just about full, this compartment, Chinese radish. So that's another tip for you guys, is to wait for the germination, see how it goes, wait a few more days, and you just fill in the gaps. If you get bad germination, not every seed germinates and comes up. You can always replant, and this was two attempts, but I've got a nice bed of Chinese radish on the way. The second bed, morning glory, check it out. A carpet of morning glory coming up, more Chinese radish right here. There might be a few gaps where I can plant again, just there. And the cucumbers, if I walk in, I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine seeds, nine cucumbers, all came at the same time. Absolutely perfect. The first real leaves have come. The first two leaves that come out from seeds are baby leaves. Um, but then the real leaves come, and perfect for the trellis here. Got my walkways, the third compartment, and I've got videos making all these sections, preparing, breaking up clumps, raking up the clumps, and bringing in topsoil. And again, I've got Chinese radish. I think, I don't think it's Morning Glory, I forget actually what I put there now. And there might be a few gaps I can replant again. I put pumpkins, um, cabbage, sorry, somewhere here, but I forget where. So the gaps I can replant seeds. And again, you're supposed to label when you plant seeds. I never do. I can't be bothered to label. So sometimes I forget what I planted, but I don't care. Whatever comes up is going to come up. I know it's some vegetable that people can eat. And in, in the fourth compartment, which I haven't even finished laying topsoil, two nice pumpkins kicking ass. I planted those in pots under a tree, and I replanted from the pot just like that. And pumpkins is something you can grow in pots and replant. So I've got two pumpkins there, just going to work their way down there. Got a big space, first aisle. In theory, the first aisle is big enough for my cart to come through, but I'm going to let watermelons and pumpkins come through here. And all these tie pots, I haven't even done yet. So that's the work to be done. The fourth section is not even finished. I've got all that to go. The tie pots are here to be done. And I've got tie pots that I haven't even cut yet. They've got to be cut out with a knife, and I've got a video showing you how to cut tie pots. So that's just a quick update on the market garden. It's now January the 10th. December the 24th was when I first started shaping up the garden in the first video. So you can see the results. And that's another good tip for you guys is, if you've got a big area to work in, start small. Do a section at a time, plant it out, and you've at least got vegetables coming up, and you just keep working. And I've got all that extra land, garden beds, and this tie pots. So just a quick update. The vegetables are kicking along. I've made sure I've come out here and watered enough. As I said, if you can't water in a very hot or sunny place, you may have to provide shade. And I can easily put some shade cloth here if I need to, especially if I go away for a day. Vegetables, seeds, seedlings, and even fully grown large vegetables need to be always moist. They can't dry out. If vegetables dry out, they run the risk of bolting to seed. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this series of videos. I really enjoyed 
doing this work and bringing these videos to you. I hope there's some tips there. I hope it shows people some information. I, I hope some people found it interesting. It was hard work, but I love it. I'll give you updates on the market garden, and I'll see you next time.